girl of Brent and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. All right, y'all, I've always wanted to do this video. I've been dying to do this video for the longest while, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to braid. It is a serious cliche that everyone thinks black women should know or do know how to braid. And you'll be surprised that there are a lot of black women out there that do not know how to braid. So today I wanna show you guys how to braid. Don't worry guys, it's not only for natural hair, it can also be for straight hair, kinky hair. So don't worry about it. You can use the same steps. It's really the basics and then and you'll be able to actually braid here as anyone <laughs> black white yellow orange it doesn't matter so if you want the beginners basic guidelines on how to braid please keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new all right let's get to the video all right y'all from the beginning of time black people have been okay i can only speak for black people okay so please bear with me from the beginning of time black people or black women have been getting their hair braided there are a lot of pictures that go around and guys i can attest to it i'm one of those persons in antigua they call it being nasty but really and truly it's you not liking your hair being pulled tugged it's really called tender-headed I am extremely tender-headed, but back in the gap or back in the day, we used to go well. Me and my sister used to go and get our hair braided like every week or every two weeks depending. And I would hate it every single time. Today I want to show you guys how to braid your hair or braid someone else's hair without it being too harsh because I don't believe in braiding hair too tight. I think that the scalp needs to breathe and honestly for tender-headed people like me, where are you? We don't like it so I'm gonna show you guys how to actually braid and it's gonna be on wet natural hair you can do it on whatever hair you'd like to do it on you could stretch out your hair you could blow dry your hair it doesn't matter the steps are really basics and it can be used for any state that your hair is in all right y'all I'm starting off on freshly conditioned hair this is the conditioner I love using it is only three dollars at the dollar store y'all know what's up I'm gonna be using the no trespassing shampoo from opulent hair essentials this is just to do a quick wash on my hair. I love to do it around the rim because I do have a slight case of psoriasis. So I'm just gonna work that in there and then go wash it out. We're all washed out and clean, love it. Now I'm gonna be using the Hit The Brakes On The Brakes Leave-In Conditioner just again to, to condition around the rim of my hair because again, we're only doing a quick wash. Just gonna massage that all over my hair, you know, so as to not make it be brittle. Now I'm going to just unravel all of my hair to get ready to actually part it for the style. I'm going to be using a rat tail comb to part my hair in a couple sections. You'll see me do a bunch of sections and just twist it away just to make sure that I don't have any flyaways. But yeah, I'm just going to be doing it in sections because we're going to be doing two rows in the back and a couple rows in the front. Alright y'all, so I've already gone ahead and parted the back. It is not straight, I know. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Pores Naturals Scalp Treatment. This is very new in my routine. Never used it before. Feels amazing and it actually made my hair feel nice and soft. Super soft. I'm going to work that in my hair because again, we want to make sure that our hair is soft so that it doesn't break whenever we're ready to plait it or braid it. Here I'm adding the Porous Naturals Jamaican Castor Oil. Guys, I've already done a review on this amazing, amazing castor oil. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this oil penetrates my hair and make sure it seals in all the moisture. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and did the back. You would not have been able to see the back anyway, so I'm just gonna do that first. Here I'm just parting out the front. Um, I'm parting out the front for now and then I'll get into the actual braiding. All right, y'all, I've already gone ahead and braided most of my hair, and I just want to just get into the actual braiding. Here, I'm spraying my hair with some water because you always want your hair to be moist or moisturized or wet so that you are able to braid your hair without it breaking. Here is the, I guess, the detailed instructions. So you want to make sure that your hair is in three at the top. You want to start off with three. And all you're going to be doing is a basket weave. While you are basket weaving, you're going to be taking up a little bit of hair at a time and work your way down as you can see when you see my finger flick up you'll see like a piece of hair that looks random no that's an actual hair that comes from like the base or below so you want to make sure when you're going down you take your time and you do your basket weave while picking up bits of hair as you go down don't worry guys once you get the hang of this you won't have any issues 
you'll be going fast the reason why I'm going slow is because I don't want to burst my hair so I'm always when I flick it once or weave it once I pull out my hair to make sure that it's not tangled at the ends guys you don't want that because that's the closest way you can actually snap off all of your hair <laughs> you know we're all about that length retention all right so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this for now and I'll check you guys back in a bit Okay, so now that we're done, as you can see here, everything's looking good. Again, because I'm instructing it and trying to make sure I go slow, it's not as neat as I would like it to be, but nevertheless, for instructional purposes, this is what it looks like. Now, when it comes to the ends of your hair, you're still doing the basket weave. You just need to figure out what direction it's going in. And again, you gotta take your time. Taking your time so that you do not snag your ends or snag any stray ends that are coming your way or coming out I love love taking my time although it takes me forever to do my hair um, I prefer doing that than to have my hair burst off okay I'm just taking you guys through a closer look again I have to spray it with water I add the porous naturals um, scalp treatment as well as oil I didn't show it here but you have to do that so that your hair is nice and slippery so again you want to start off with three in the front and then basket weave throughout the back making sure to take up any hair or a little bit of hair at a time as you go back also if you're wondering why is it that I have all my edges out and I'm not doing my hair too tight I do not like my hair braided tight if you do not um, if you haven't caught on yet I don't believe in braiding my hair too tight that's why we have edge control you can put edge control on those edges and then you can just you know do a little swoop so I love to make sure my hair is not too tight again if you're braiding someone else's hair especially a, a young child they would not like their hair to be braided tight at all so this is the way that I use to do it my way so that I'm not bawling when I'm trying to braid my hair <laughs> yes I still ball and also if you still feel like you're having difficulty braiding your hair slap some conditioner on there so that it's softer the softer your hair the easier it is to braid the less snagging and tugging and breaking your ends will have so yeah add some conditioner add some water conditioner oh well guys make it easy make it fun make braiding your hair not a chore yeah and at this point guys my arms were tired but i had to take my time to make sure the ends are out like i hate to hear when my hair pops it runs my blood completely All right, now that the braiding is done, it's time to have fun. So I'm gonna be adding these rubber bands. They are pastel. As you guys know, pastel is going right now. And I'm just gonna be adding it all over my hair. No rhyme or reason, really. Just make sure that I stagger them and make sure that they're good and separated. And as you can see here, I'm done. It didn't take long at all, maybe about five minutes or two minutes, I don't know. <laughs> but it looks really, really good. And now I'm gonna be adding the beads. I'm only taking the clear beads. Because, you know, it's pastel. We don't want too much colors. We want the colors to be negative, right? So I'm just adding three to the ends of each of the braids. And let's see where it takes us. All right, y'all, so this is the final look. I know I showed you guys earlier in this video, but again, you know I have to close out the video looking like this. 
I put some beads at the end of my hair just to give it a nice little funky look. I put some rubber bands in the middle parts of my braids just again to give it a funky look. Pastels are going right now so I tried my best to use everything that's pastel. I hope the instructions that I gave you guys were clear and concise. I tried my best to go as slow as possible and to be as thorough and um, in depth as possible. If you guys have any advice for me or any ways that you do your hair, you can mention it down in the comments down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to smash that notification bell so you do not miss another upload. And also follow me on all my social media accounts. Just look for it at Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All right, I'll see you guys in the next part. Enjoy the bloopers. There's no bloopers. There, there are none, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video.